Good morning, happy Thursday. It is an absolutely beautiful day behind me and a, an ominous and gloomy day in front of me, so we'll see what we get. But I am here at the Cullen Plaza. And I'm about to film a video comparing the Invincible 2s to the Invincible 3s. I'm very excited about this. This is the first time I've run in Detroit this year, so it's good to be back. This is my favorite place to run, so what I'm gonna do and this video will probably, this video should be out by the time you're watching this, but I'm going to run four miles in the Invincible 2s, come back to my car, switch my shoes, and run four miles in the Invincible 3s for a, like a true fair comparison between the two. Um, it is kind of cold, 30 degrees right now, so we'll see, hopefully the wind is not too big of a factor. I'm hoping to get out there and catch some of this nice sunrise we're seeing, because like I said, it's looking, uh, looking a little gloomy out there. But uh, that'll be the video today. I'll probably film a couple things for the vlog, but most of that content will go into uh, the comparison video, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna bundle up, I'm gonna put my shoes on, and I'm gonna get out there. A true sunrise session. I mean, come on, look at that. So this whole berm area is now open. This used to be just a big dirt hill and they kind of landscaped it and made it nice. So I'm gonna run around it, and see what it's all about. Might try to get a thumbnail image up here, we'll see. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, perfect. What a view. How nice. Oh, look at this. This is made for thumbnail images. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. They got like a little binocular thing. See if this works. Oh yeah, kind of. Look at this. Now this is a sunrise session, folks. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Got the, got the thumbnail. Man, look at this. Oh, this is so nice. I just want to sit up here and watch the sun but I gotta run eight miles, so. Cause that's the sacrifice I make for the people, which are you, the viewers. Viewers like you. Kinda steep. This is by far my favorite place to run in Metro Detroit. There's nothing like this. You get the nature, you get the city, the architecture, the birds are chirping. What a great place to run. Detroit Riverwalk, check it out. This is actually part of the Detroit Marathon course. When you get to this point, it means it's go time. <laughs> you only got about two miles, two and a half miles at this point. You're running the opposite direction, but this always gets me excited because you're about to go back downtown. You see the water, maybe a nice cool breeze coming off the river. Wonderful spot. The Riverwalk is such a great place to run. I think the friendliest runners I've ever experienced are on the Riverwalk. Everybody waves, everybody smiles, everybody's so nice. Honestly, I've run in a lot of different places, but this is number one. Last place, for those that are asking, Denver, Colorado, the most unfriendly place to run. Nobody smiles, nobody waves, nobody makes eye contact. I'm very fortunate to live in a place with such friendly runners. Desire path. All right, so as you may have seen in my comparison video, I'm running the second half of the comparison on the DeQuinder Cut. This is the beginning of the DeQuinder Cut. That's the DNR Nature Center. You see the little waterfall in there. This used to be train tracks. 
they were abandoned for a little while and then they took it and put in a very nice path for bikers and walkers and runners. It's got art on the sides. It's just a wonderful, wonderful place to run. My favorite part about this, all of the traffic is above you. So you never have to deal with horrible drivers. This is a newer one. Very cool. Look at that, an owl. Love owls. Moving on. Little hidden gem up here. In the summer, grab a drink, bite to eat. They got mogos, they got picnic tables. Awesome place. So right here is a climbing gym. Dino Detroit Climbing. I had no idea that existed, but if you're into rock climbing, check that out. All right, wrapping up my comparison video. I'm kind of tired. I've been running about nine, 9.30 pace. I haven't run in a long time, so whew, I am a little gassed. But again, you cannot beat this view. Wrapping up that run, eight miles, 9.30 pace. I, like I said, I filmed a, a comparison video between the Invincible 1 and 2. Check that out, it should be live. But yeah, honestly, so good to get back out in downtown Detroit. I was just getting very sick of running the same route. Um, it'll be good to get back in it. Unfortunately, there is another blizzard on the way, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to run this weekend. It's Thursday, so probably not tomorrow. Maybe things will be clear by Saturday, hopefully Sunday, but the never-ending, horrible February, March weather continues. So, on to the next day. Good morning, happy Friday. I am once again coming to you from our weekly Michigan blizzard. Man, it just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. Had such a wonderful run yesterday. Eight miles, beautiful sunrise. It was pretty warm, like, a balmy 33 and here I am once again with my yak tracks trudging through a winter storm very fun very cool that's sarcastic so I started this run thinking I didn't have to film intersections because in a blizzard like come on who's gonna run a stop sign some guy with his kids in the back of the car just blew through it so I will pick that back up but stay safe out there. Doesn't matter what the weather is. People still drive like reckless idiots. So gotta stay safe, stay aware, stay cautious, assume the worst. <laughs> That's my motto of running in places that are not protected like the Detroit Riverwalk. Assume the absolute worst. By the way, I don't live and die by Strava, but I am the champion of this halfway hill, as it's called. So. Come and try and take my title because I run it every single day. <laughs> Six miles today. I don't even know what my pace is. I'm not even looking at my watch. I'm just trying to keep my heart rate down. I'm sure I'm running very slow. I'm a little tired from yesterday, a little sore. Plus the snow is just a little harder to run in, but just happy to be out here, I guess. No stop, saw me. Turned in front, love that. Love that for me. Just wanna say, Oakland Community College, they are on top of plowing their sidewalks. Shout out to OCC, man. I mean, come on, they've already plowed and I bet they'll plow it again by the time I come back. That is how you take care of your sidewalks. Everybody should take notes. Starting to drift. <laughs> so I've been watching a lot of videos from a YouTuber named Ben is running check out his channel he's like running YouTube channel and he's in Kenya right now running in warm weather beautiful like red dirt trails and I'm out here such a funny contrast anybody who runs in Michigan in this is is the toughest I don't think anybody can argue that Michigan runners are the toughest runners I mean I could throw in you know Minnesota and South Dakota North Dakota even these northern state runners built different. So interesting update, there used to be a yield for pedestrian sign of this crosswalk, but it's just inexplicably gone. <laughs> so there will be no yielding. I'll wait for everybody to get through. 
It's okay. This is becoming a little more of a trudge versus a run. <laughs> Getting a little deep. It's all right. Also worth noting, the Pegasus Trail 3 Gore-Tex is an awesome shoe. And I didn't expect that. I bought them to go hiking because I don't like boots, but it turned out to be a really good running shoe. They're, they're versatile, they're waterproof, they're durable, they're not too heavy. They have great grip, fantastic shoe. I had no idea that I would be running in these so much, but I haven't tried the Pegasus Trail 4. I just don't have enough miles in these to justify buying a new pair, but if they're anything like the threes, I highly recommend them. You could use them as like everyday trainers, honestly. So I talk a lot about the worst drivers and I don't like being too negative, so let's flip it. Let's talk about the best drivers, Subaru drivers. Honestly, the most cautious, the most safe, rarely do you see a Subaru hatchback blowing stop signs. So shout out Subaru drivers. I mean, why bother just taking two seconds to brush off your rear windshield? Why? You know, who needs it? Who needs to see what's behind you when you're driving a car? So, you know, nice. Good morning, happy Saturday, another great day. It actually is great. The snow on the sidewalk's melted. It's cold, but at least, at least it's clear. So no complaints today. I'm running six miles all over the place pace. I don't know. I feel good, I feel sore, whatever, who cares? Anyway, I have one thing I wanna talk about and one thing only. So today is my last run before daylight saving time kicks in, which means it's my last run before it is once again pitch black in the morning, which to be honest, I'm not looking forward to this. Now there's a lot of people that want daylight saving time to be permanent, I do not. I'm a morning person. I like it when it's light in the morning. Sue me. Do I need sunlight at 9.30 p.m. in the summer? To be honest, no. Give me the light in the morning year round. Now there's a push to make it permanent. I disagree, A, because of the light, and B, it actually was permanent in the 70s, and people hated it so much that they repealed it within 10 months. So let's not forget what happened in the past before we make the same mistake in the future. Anyway, Life goes on, it'll be about a month after the clocks change before it's this light at this time again. So hopefully it'll be warmer weather, make it a little more tolerable, but I want, what is the opposite of daylight saving time? Daylight losing time? I want terminate daylight losing time. Anyway, wrapping this run up. It's a good day. Oh my. Ah, oh, oh no. All right, so obviously the time change has me messed up but today's uh, Nespresso of the week is Melozio uh, so we're gonna give it a try if you haven't seen my vlogs before basically I am trying to drink all of the Nespresso's my cat is meowing in the background very annoying very very annoying um, <laughs> uh, anyway I'm trying to drink all the Nespresso's this is my fourth or fifth, I can't remember, but I will link in the description below to all of my ratings. I rate them A, B, C, D, or F. So let's try Melozio. I think this one is supposed to be a little more of a mild, uh, mild coffee as opposed to a bolder one, and that definitely shows through. I prefer a little bit of a bolder flavor. There isn't a ton of flavor. It's not bad, but there's just not, it's just, it doesn't punch you in the face, uh, you know, when it's the day that daylight saving time starts and you're tired and you're confused. Um, maybe you want something a little stronger than this. So not bad, but like not my preference. I would give this a B. So Melozio Nespresso B, not bad, but not my favorite. So that'll wrap up this week's vlog. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And the cat and I will see you soon.